Hello viewers, we'll be looking into some interesting historical events in our channel. In the year 1519, Spanish conquested Ojana and Cortes sunk his own naval fleet to keep his men from deserting during his campaign to conquer the Aztec Empire. It was one of the biggest gambles in military history. Today, we are going to look about the circumstances leading up to a specific event. Earlier that year, Cortes sailed from the present-day Cuba to the Mexican coast with approximately 500 men to establish a colony for the Spanish crown. Soon after landing, he faced stiff resistance from warriors of vast civilization. However, armed with little more than arrows and spears, they were no match for the gun totting and horse riding Spanish. Cortes conquered several cities along the coast before venturing inland, seizing gold, silver and other treasure along the way. Cortes was at a decision point. He could have declared victory and returned to Cuba to take stock of his spoils and prepare for another invasion with a larger force better suited to take on the hundreds of thousands of Aztec soldiers under the command of Montezuma, the king of the Aztecs. But Cortes knew he had momentum on his side. Nevertheless, many of his men thought the campaign to take an entire empire with a such a small force was an act of madness. They had joined the expedition for adventure and spoils and didn't intend to lose their lives. In the meantime, Cortes learned of a conspiracy among his men to seize a ship and return to Cuba. As long as the ships were anchored off the coast, the possibility of escape lingered on the minds of the conspirators. Cortes made his decision. He then stripped the ships of their sails, rigging and ironworks and anything else that can be used on the land. Finally, the hulls were scuttled. Most ships were inspected in the same manner and deemed unfit for sea voyage. They were destroyed, leaving only one ship. With their only exit route effectively cut off, Cortes and his men had only one option, head into the interior and fight. Thus, the fate of the Aztecs and the rest of the native population was sealed. Why would a military commander destroy his own fleet? For one, it simplifies campaign planning and execution by eliminating all options but one. It strengthens the soldiers' resolve to fight. Once they know all possibilities for retreat are eliminated, they must fight for their lives. This tends to increase the ferocity in battle and for the machine in general. Do support us. Please like and share this video and subscribe.